Other news tonight, a five-year-old girl sent to the hospital by a dog. And what's even more upsetting for these parents is they say this isn't the first time this dog has attacked. Tonight, News Five's Curtis Fuller joins us live from our exclusive Butler Warren Mobile Newsroom with more tonight. Curtis? Well, you know, this is a reminder that under any circumstance, a dog can attack. And you better believe your, your little ones are easy targets. Several kids up here in Hamilton have been the victims of a feisty pooch. Bro might look like a harmless pet, but folks in this Hamilton neighborhood have a different opinion of this pooch. All of a sudden, I hear my son scream. I look, my son was attacked in the face. His face was all swollen and scratched. Bo's owner says she's heard all the complaints from her neighbors. It's been going on for a while. It just seems like it's just getting worse now with, with him. Miranda Hoffman says this is what happened to her five-year-old daughter, McKenna, when she was simply walking past Bo's fence today. The dog came out over the fence to attack my daughter. She's now got three staples in the back of her head. Donna Bailey's 10-year-old son, Dale, was attacked in the face by Bo. She said that she should have gotten rid of the dog a long time ago because the dog had bitten another child. I didn't know that the dog had actually bitten another child the day before. He's had too many bites, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of him tomorrow. Tomorrow, and we will check to, to see if she follows through with that. Uh, many of the residents up here say they have a lot of questions about the laws regarding uh, pets in various neighborhoods, and they're going to follow up on that, and we will stay with this story. Reporting live in Hamilton, where the news comes first, I'm Curtis Fuller, News 5.